man, it was all about being loud. You know, I was kicked out of the jazz band in high school five times, you know. But I always used to be able to use that gear, you know, take it out for the weekends. Tone to me was, you know, what you were hearing off of what was coming out of the radio and trying to emulate that without being too loud. Finding tone is a really important thing for all guitar players and for me when uh, it came time for me to really discover my own tone, make my, my own signature sound mark, uh, if you will, uh, it, it was hard because there wasn't really a scene. There was no thrash metal at the time. I was my own island out there and just this snotty kid with a really raunchy sounding guitar. As soon as I found the very first uh, Seymour Duncan pickups I used were the, the JB uh, humbuckers. And for me, that was, that was it. He really kind of opened my eyes to like tone and certain pickups that uh, are really standout pickups as far as getting an, an aggressive tone. But growing up as, as a kid playing guitar, I always used the Seymour Duncan distortion as my standard pickup in all the guitars. I, I used to build guitars actually, like from like old scrap parts, like strap bodies and like old Charbel necks and stuff. And me and my friend would do this together and the go-to pickup going in those guitars was always the Seymour Duncan distortion. That to me is kind of like the legendary pickup that always tone-wise has sounded king. When we were kids, to get a Duncan pickup was like, wow, he said, don't you got a Duncan pickup? When we were first starting out, we could yeah. get the pickups to some stores. We were pulling the shit out of our old guitars and putting them in. I know. Because, we, I know. because it was, what the, it's what the rock stars were doing. Exactly. Now the real smart techs kept those PAFs in a box. In a somewhere. box. That's right. Man. You know, but guys like us, and I swear to God, we didn't know. Especially at that time, I had one, and it's that old '68 that I play. I don't always take it on the road anymore. I, I'm kind of careful with it. I record with it a lot. Like early on, when I got that guitar, the neck pickup didn't work very well because those late '60s pickups weren't yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. So I threw in a Duncan, and that's been in there since 1995, I think. Wow. Jackson RR1 Randy Rhodes guitar uh, with Duncan pickups in there. That's how my, um, my taste in guitar tone was shaped, uh, really through that rig and with those pickups and that guitar. Uh, and like I said, it's still with me to this day, you know. I knew that that was the pickup I wanted to have in my signature guitar. I went up to the factory and, and met Seymour and told him that I wanted to be an endorsee and they had asked, uh, would I be willing to endorse a new line that they had called the Live Wires. And my loyalty to Seymour is so deep and, and so honest. They sent the guitar back to Santa Barbara, back to the factory and they took it apart. Uh, completely dismantled the guitar, did uh, reverse engineering on the pickups and got all the specs and then put the pickup back together for the original, gave it back to me. And now we have an exact model of the pickups that made Rest in Peace. The relationship that we get with the artist it's not only, you're not just a customer, yeah. you know? We treat people like family in here. Just spent some time on Victoria winding some pickups for uh, this guitar, and um, she didn't like me at all. I blew two pickups. We had to just cut them and throw them away, and... Hey, Jeff. Didn't quite work out. Yeah, it's gonna be great now, I'm gonna watch. You know, and I was just sitting there thinking, you know, gosh, we've been doing this for 40 years now. For 40 years. And that, I think, says about everything you can say about a company and about the people who run it and the people who work in it. The products that you guys make, they're just great. Got a... We're meant to to make things and build things. That's, and that's things. how I grew up, you know. A lot of these guys don't, you know. No. So that's where, like, I feel like I can do that part of the forum. There was something about you. You blew us away oh, really? at that wow. event. You've become so successful as a pickup maker. I think there's a lot of guys who buy your pickups who may not realize what a player yeah, you are. Yeah. 
You're amazing. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>